Welcome to Red in Motion. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory Cell and Molecular Biology. Here, we discuss eosinophil phenotypes are functionally regulated by Resolvin D2 during allergic lung inflammation by researchers from Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School, Boston. Eosinophils are present in multiple organs during homeostasis and support rapid inflammatory responses against allergens and pathogens. Recent reports have shown that distinct eosinophil subsets may have different roles in various disease models. Although all eosinophils may look similar under light microscopy, different eosinophil subsets may have significant functional differences. In this study, the functional differences of eosinophil subsets were investigated using a murine model with allergic lung inflammation. Eosinophils were characterized during inflammation, resolution, and following resolvin D2 or RVD2 treatment. Eosinophils were classified into two groups defined by their CD101 expression. The CD101 low eosinophils moved from the vascular niche to the lung interstitium in response to an allergen challenge. In contrast, the CD101 high eosinophils were primarily located in the extravascular lung spaces, such as the bronchoil velar region, and were only present during inflammation. The gene expression profiles and functional properties between CD101 high and CD101 low eosinophils during inflammation were also highly distinct. Administering RVD2 reduced the number of eosinophils and inhibited their activation. This occurred by loss of IL-5-dependent CD101 low eosinophils recruitment and reduced CD101 low to CD101 high eosinophil conversion. The authors suggest eosinophils are a diverse group of cells with specific activation states and spatial temporal regulation during the resolution of inflammation. RVD2 plays a key role in resolution of inflammation, at least in part, through its effects on different eosinophil subsets such as CD101 high and CD101 low. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Brueggemann and colleagues. Thank you for watching Red in Motion.